Simona Halep received a four-year doping ban from the International Tennis Integrity Agency in September but is appealing to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Simona Halep is seeking £8 million in damages from the producers of a supplement she took before testing positive for a banned substance and subsequently receiving a four-year doping ban. The former world number one is suing Canadian company Quantum Nutrition, also known as Shinusa Superfoods, and seeking punitive damages at a New York court. Halep, 32, claims their contaminated keto MCT supplements she took at the 2022 U.S. Open are why she tested positive for Roxidustat. The anti-anemia medication is on the World Anti-Doping Agency's prohibited substance list for increasing hemoglobin and the production of red blood cells as a blood doping agent. The player states that its presence in the supplements was not on its label. Negligence and false claims about the legality of the supplement are said to have caused humiliation and harmed Halep's career. Her then-coach has since taken accountability for obtaining the supplement. We brought her collagen from a company a company, he said in November. This collagen happened to be contaminated. There was no way to know it. But I feel responsible for what happened because it's my team, so me, basically, who brought her this collagen. But the International Tennis Integrity Agency ban also covered a subsequent doping infraction for irregularities in her athlete biological passport the same year. She is appealing the suspension to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, which proceedings taking place earlier this month in Lausanne, Switzerland. This hearing provided me with the opportunity to present my position and defend my innocence, she said in a statement after the hearing concluded. My confidence in the prevalence of the truth remains intact. I look forward to reclaiming my place on the tennis courts. Failing that, she has openly acknowledged that the ban lasting until October 2026 will effectively end her career. Four years is going to be a lot, for my age at least, she told Euronews last December. And for an athlete who has done this thing every day for 25 years and dedicated their life to tennis and to sport, I don't know how it's going to be, but it's catastrophic if it's going to be four years, and I don't know how I will handle it.